In this video, we're going to talk about the differential input stage. Here, we're going to use a uh, MOS input differential pair input stage as an example. So this structure has been widely used. It almost exists on in every single chip you're going to, you're going to see. In, so you need to know it, understand it um, inside out. So differential input stage has three parts. The top one here is the PMOS current mirror load. So essentially what it does was uh, try to mirror the current from the left to the right. The second portion is the input differential pair. In this particular example, it's a MOS. What it does was uh, what it does is it tries to sense the voltage difference between V in one and V in two, and then convert it to the current. The bottom part here is the current source M phi to bias up the uh, the the two branch here, left branch and the right branch. So um, when V in one equal to V in two. Everything perfect. So you're gonna see that the the current um, going to this uh, M5 is evenly split on the left branch and the right branch. Yeah. And also the no voltage for the V out is equal to the no voltage at the F. So in order to keep all those transistors in saturation uh, regions. So what's the conditions for V in and a V out? So let's take a look at the V in first. So V in, as you can see, that if we keep V in equal, you know, grab V in one and V in two together, and then try to lower that voltage. At a certain point, this M phi gonna go out of saturation saturation regions. What is that point? That's uh, one overdrive of uh, M phi plus a VGS here. So essentially that's one overdrive, that's two overdrive plus one MR threshold. That's the minimum for V in one and two. Now let's go for the other direction. If we raise up the V in one and two, at a certain point, the uh, M M1 here gonna get in get out of the saturation region. So what's that point? So that essentially is because here's a dial here. This node F is uh, is one VGS down from the VDD. From this node to P node, that's one overdrive, right? And then we go back up to the V in, that's uh, one overdrive plus uh, one VGS. Uh, I'm sorry, one overdrive plus one uh, amount threshold. If you add them together. That's the, the maximum voltage for the V in one can go up to is VDD minus uh, P threshold, one P threshold minus one overdrive plus one MOS threshold. So that's for V in. What about V out? V out, when you go up, it's, uh, it's apparent that they cannot go up to uh, VDD and need a one overdrive and the, the voltage of V out uh, can be as high as VDD minus one overdrive here. So that's this portion here. And also V out cannot go too low, otherwise this M2 gonna get, get in trouble. So how low that V out can go? So that's V in one or two minus uh, one MR threshold. For the VB, apparently that's the one MR threshold plus a little bit overdrive. So as mentioned that uh, when V in equal to V1 equal to V2, um, V out equal to um, uh, no voltage at the F, VF. So um, well, let's let's say we keep the V in constant. We raise up the V2 voltage, raise up the V2 voltage a little bit. So this one goes up, so the drain voltage V out here gonna go down, right? But by how much? That's uh, if we look at the equation here. That's the delta voltage on the V in two multiplied by the GM of this guy, and then multiplied by the um, out when you look into this V out node. So that's essentially is the out of M four in parallel of out of uh, M two. Um, here, 
So uh, let me see. Yeah, so let's talk about the imperfect um, offset. Imperfect uh, random offset for this differential pair. Um, so the basic idea is this. For the input pair, uh, you want to maximize its GM, right? Um, for the top um, current mirror load, right, as we mentioned in the other video, um, in order for the uh, the current mirror to have a better match, one way to do it is to minimize its uh, GM. So when you look at the equation here, so this VOS here is the input offset, input referred random offset. So that's square root of um, um, mismatch between these two guys, square plus the GM of these two transistors over the GM of these two transistors and then multiply on the voltage offset among these two guys. And then, of course, you need a square here too. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please give us thumbs up. It means a lot to us.